Okay, in this video I'm going to show you something I've been wanting to try a long time ago. I don't know if you ever heard of petroleum dye. Uh, you get it in a four ounce bottle. And what you do is you mix it with uh, PVC cleaner. This looks like a cement bottle, but you don't want to use cement, you want to use the cleaner. Okay, and I pretty much did not read the directions. Uh, it said one of these bottles... Uh, to a four ounces I think I think this is four ounces and then you put it anyway I this is an eight ounce can and I went ahead and poured the whole bottle into it uh, <clears throat> this is the first one that I did and the, the reason why I think it's a big deal is because I always paint my stuff, especially for any of the PVC stuff I do, black so it's hidden. And I used to, I've started out with the more expensive paint, plastic, or paint for plastic, and it doesn't matter. That stuff chips, and Walmart's even got uh, dollar paint, which works good too, but it still doesn't adhere that good to it. But the nice thing about this is this does adhere to it. I did this probably about 30 minutes ago. I'm not going to put my blade on it because it'll definitely scratch it because it'll peel the plastic off but I'm just now rubbing on it and you don't see nothing uh, other than I just look like I scuffed it up but it's I'm not seeing the uh, gray PVC uh, I think I haven't tried this on white but it should work the same on white that's originally what people used it for was on white but <clears throat> these will be part of my tree ring, so I want them black. But anyway, I'm going to just show you uh, really how easy in this stuff. I was worried that it wasn't going to go far, but it goes really far. It takes a minimal amount. Uh, and I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to use a little brush on here. And I'm just going to kind of wring it out. Actually, I got a lot there. I'm just going to do this area. You want to make sure you have something under it, depending on where you're doing it. And I recommend gloves. I did not use gloves. You can see I got it on me, and this stuff is going to be hard to get off. And I was actually reading online, and someone said this is, you know, it's called black, but it's actually, uh, that wasn't good. It was actually, uh, they said it was a deep blue, a really dark blue. And when I look at it, after it's finished, it looks black. But when it's going on, I could tell that the guy was uh, truthful in what he said. It was uh, definitely a dark blue. But right now, it looks black to me. But, I mean, I've done this one piece here. And I probably can't show you... Uh, I probably only used uh, maybe a couple tablespoons, uh, maybe three tablespoons to do one, but this is easily going to do a lot. So I recommend it on anything that you want to use it on, uh, especially if you got the white cords, because uh, I used to try to paint them and they just don't paint good. And people have used this stuff on cords and paint them whatever color they want it. Because uh, you can get this dye in any color you want. Uh, find it on eBay. Uh, this is like 13 bucks. It sounds expensive, but as far you know, I was just skeptical that it wouldn't go that far. But when I got it out and started spreading it, um, it spread really thin, and it seems to dry. I think it's going to take a little while to set up, but you could about. Almost immediately, you can pick it up and move it around. Uh, but like I said, I recommend gloves and put something underneath of it if it's important. But that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and ask any questions, and we'll help you best we can. Thanks for watching.